Blender is one of the best 3D software in the world. It offers the tools and features that allow it to support all of the 3D creation pipeline. In this video, we are going to dive deep into all the stuff that we can do with this wonderful program. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Modeling Blender has a set of modeling tools and features that allow you to create whatever you want with it. You can even increase your speed and efficiency and get access to newer tools by using some Blender add-ons that were created by the Blender community, like hardtops and box cutter for hard surface modeling. Blender also has more than 50 modifiers separated between four categories. These modifiers are automatic operations that affect an object's geometry in a non-destructive way. With modifiers, you can perform many effects automatically that would otherwise be too tedious to do manually, such as subdivision surface for example, and all of that without affecting the base geometry of your object. Sculpting Most of the artists using other modeling software will rely on ZBrush or Mudbox for sculpting. But unlike other modeling softwares that offer really primitive and limited sculpting tools, Blender has a fully developed sculpting system. It has 20 different brushes and you can use really powerful features like dynamic topology and multi-res sculpting. The Blender team is always trying to improve the user sculpting experience by adding new features and bug fixes to the sculpting system. Now Blender offers sculpting tools that are almost equivalent to what the industry standard ZBrush has to offer in some areas. Texturing and Shading Blender includes a node-based material creation system that has more than 80 material nodes, which enables you to create high-quality procedural materials. Blender also gives you the ability to paint your models using the texture paint mode or the vertex paint mode. And of course, Blender offers some UV unwrapping tools that are more than enough to UV unwrap your model. You can even make the process easier by using add-ons like Zen UV and Auto Pack Master. Rigging and animation. Blender is one of the best software when it comes to animation. Blender's developers have been working on the program animation tools since the beginning and new tools and features are being developed and released in every new version of Blender. Blender offers a character animation pose editor, an IQ forward and inverse kinematics for fast poses and a non-linear animation for independent movement. And since rigging is so important for animation, Blender offers an impressive set of rigging tools, including envelope skeleton, automatic skinning, mirror functionality, and also a weight painting mode. Also a part of the Blender company is the Blender Animation Studio, which has been creating award-winning animation short movies since 2006 by only using Blender. You can check their movies to see what you can achieve with this program. 2D Animation Apart from being one of the best in 3D animation, Blender can do 2D animation too. Blender allow you to create 2D sketches in a 3D space, and that's by using the grease pencil feature. It also comes with tools like multi-frame, editing falloff, the ability to use modifiers, and VFX lighting. The Blender Animation Studio creates a really wonderful 2D short called Hero by using this feature. You can also use the grease pencil to create cutout animation, motion graphics, and also storyboards. You can even create a hybrid animation by using both the 2D and the 3D tools of the program. Simulation Blender has a really powerful dynamics and simulation system. It can create smoke, fire, fluids, hair, etc. Blender also offers a rigid body dynamic system that you can use to simulate the interaction between solid objects and the soft body dynamic system that you can use to create bouncing balls, body parts 
and other soft bodies. You can also create cloth objects by using the built-in cloth simulation system. Also, Blender offers high-quality add-ons like the Flip Fluid add-on that is used to create wonderful fluid simulations. Rendering Blender has two built-in render engines, Cycles, which is the physically based ray tracer, and EV, which is the real-time render engine. You can use either of them based on your needs. You can even use other third-party render engines. If you need to know more about all of Blender render engines, you can watch this video here. Compositing Blender comes with a really powerful built-in compositor. This allows you to post-produce your renders without leaving the program. It offers a full compositing with images and video files, also render layer supports, and an impressive library of notes for creating camera effects, color grading, vignettes, and much more. Motion Tracking Blender allows you to import a raw footage, track it, mask areas, and reconstruct the camera movement live in your 3D scene. Blender features production-ready camera and object tracking by offering automatic and manual tracking, powerful camera reconstruction, and a real-time preview of your tracked footage in your 3D scene. Video Editing Blender comes with a built-in video sequence editor which allow you to perform basic actions like video cuts and splicing, as well as more complex tasks like video masking or color grading. It offers up to 32 slots for adding videos, images, audio, scenes, masks, and effects. It also has a live preview, luma waveforms, chroma vector scope, and histogram displays. Scripting Because Blender is an open source software, it has a large community of enthusiasts and developers that work on this software by trying to develop new features or improve the existing ones. So if you have some knowledge working with C++ and Python programming languages, you can try to create new add-ons and tools that the Blender community can benefit from. Of course, you can do all of that after you learn how to run scripts in Blender's text editor. That's it for this video. Tell me in the comments below what do you use Blender for and why. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching.